Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I am going to do a mani because I got my mani by me um, box. I actually got it yesterday, but um, I didn't do nails yesterday because hubby and I went and got a new kitchen table and chair set. So, um, I helped him put it together and, um, yeah. So n when we first moved in, we, um, we got, um, bar chairs so we could sit on the kitchen at the kitchen counter, but it's too small and it was awkward and I hated being up in the air. So we just got a normal kitchen table set. I'll put pictures <laughs> So you can see. Um, okay. So this one, that is the card that came in. And I get the express box because um, it's cheaper. <laughs> so this one is called the Sky Dancers Many by Me Express Kit. You will be fluttering your fingertips with a delicate dance of butterflies and dragonflies. Let your imagination soar to new heights. I'm not going to read it all. Okay, so MXM123 showcases a variety of butterflies, including Majestic Monarch with intricate close-up patterns of their iconic wings. And MXM124, it's the buffet style featuring butterflies and dragonflies. And then this month's um, special bonus includes a pack of vibrant um, full color nail stickers. Okay, so there they are. Very cute. So, and I guess you get two sheets of them. I haven't, I'm not gonna open it right now because we're not gonna use them today because we're gonna do some stamping. And then this one is the lace wing. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's the look that they have done. And then they all always give you instructions on how to do it. So I'll get those out of the way so I don't mess them up. Okay. So this is one, two, three. Oh. So these are the designs. Very, very cute. And then one, two, oops, sorry, hit the camera. <laughs> and then one, two, four. So very cute. And honestly, now I don't know which design I'm going to use. <laughs> Because I like butterflies. Butterflies, flowers, they're, they're all my weak spots. Okay, but we, we are going to do some watercolors. So I found this watercolor kit at um, Dollarama. Um, that's our dollar store here in Canada, or at least, you know, where I am. Um, so it's a watercolor painting set. It's called the Artist's series there's 36 colors and i paid four dollars canadian so i have to go back to well i want to try them first but i'm probably going to go back to Dollarama and get a couple more kits because i think i might have to get them for giveaways and um, add them to my my next giveaway. So I'll take that off. So I don't I don't know what this little trap door thing is for. Just, I, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. So you don't close it? I, I don't know. There's holes here as well. It comes with a brush, but I'm probably not going to use it. But it's got lots of cool colors. I, I, I like it. It's very cute. Okay, so I have white nails. Uh, this is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. And it is called White On. I did a top coat and then I did a... Um, I always do a top coat, like a glossy top coat. And then I will do a matte coat top coat. The reason why I do that is because the glossy coat will smooth everything out and the, uh, for the matte polish. Because if you just go in with the matte polish, um, the matte will, um, it doesn't smooth things out and you'll get like little bumps and whatever. If you have any little bumps, it shows it. So that is why I do matte or glossy in the matte. Then I realized I'm going to stamp first and then we're going to color in. Okay. La, la, la. Okay. So I am. I'm going to do. Actually. Okay. So I want to use this, but I'm going to do it on this nail, but I'm going to do my background first and then some colors. And then I want to do those and those. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's let's stamp anyway. Yeah, let's stamp anyway. Let's get that over with, and then I can play with. I'm not ready. I thought it was. Clean my plate. There. Okay, I smudged myself already. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to do... Um, do, do, do. I'm going to do this. Little butterfly. I'm just taking off what I don't want, and then I'm going to do there. Didn't quite fit, but that's okay. And then we're going to do um, we're going to do these guys on there. I want to use um, let's just wipe this off so I can look at it. <laughs> da, da, 
do. I'm just picking a variety of the different uh, different images. So we'll clean that off. And I think I'm going to do a little dragonfly here. Hopefully it'll fit on my... I don't know if it'll be small enough to fit on my index finger. Yep. Okay, and now for thumb. We're going to do these butterflies, I think. Oh, actually, maybe I'll do this guy because it's got um, dragonflies and butterflies. And then that way it'll incorporate this guy <laughs> that I've added. there okay so let me clean up and we'll be right back okay i did clean up a little bit around but um not totally so now i am so i'm just gonna dip my brush into a little bit of water and I'm going to do some coloring. Okay, so then I'm going to clean off the brush. And I'm going to go in with some yellow. So I'm not totally covering the lines, like I'm trying to go in so the black is a little more prominent. And then I'm just kind of feathering it into the orange so look at that so it looks like it's um like a gradient oh that's pretty i kind of like that so, one sec. Oh yeah, I'm back. I had to sneeze. <laughs> and I didn't want to do it in your ears. So I'm just going in with a little bit of the orange again. And making it a little darker. Okay, what do you think? I really like it. Okay, so I'm going to do this one kind of orange. One thing I find is having the water in these, I like the brushes. But now that it's so wet, I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to take the water out. Or at least 
a majority of it. I don't need it that full. So oh, I forget these things are backwards. Oh. Um Yeah, I find that it gets it makes the um the brush too wet. So I'm going to do some more yellow on this one. I'm going to do some dragonfly wings blue. We used to, when we were in the house, we used to get dragonflies a lot in our backyard. So they were always so pretty. This is going to be a blue dragonfly. See, and if you go in and you kind of mess up and you get... So I dried off the brush and I kind of dipped it in just to plain water. And then you can go in and then take it off. So that's one nice thing about using watercolors is you can um, um, fix your mistakes. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do a couple of the butterflies. Dark blue. I guess I should have looked and see what a whole bunch of different colors of butterflies are so that way I'd have pretty colors for them and let's try a different orange so I really like these watercolors. They're actually kind of nice. So, yeah. And I wouldn't have seen them except when I went into Dollarama. I was looking in the arts and crafts section. And they were like on the very bottom shelf. And um, there was a lady there and she looked at them. She pulled them out and I saw them in her hand. And I'm like, oh, oh. What are these? And then she put them back. And then she kept standing there. And then she was kind of like in the way. <laughs> and I'm like. Um, I was waiting for her to get out of the way. And I'm like, okay, come on, lady. Yeah, go, go. So I can go and look. <laughs> and then. She finally moved out of the way. So I was able to go and grab one and I, sh I knew I should have like I'm I'm driving home and I'm like oh I should have got more got should have got a couple so but maybe this weekend I'll go so I'm just doing a purple butterfly there's purple butterflies aren't they I love purple so there's gonna be a purple but yeah, so, yeah, these are a pretty cute set. And, oh, we're going to have red. I'm kind of enjoying doing watercolors. They're actually kind of fun. Okay, so I need 
one other color just for this little guy. Let's do let's do this dark orange again. What do you think? I like that. I'm gonna leave them white. I was gonna color in the backgrounds, but I kind of like the white. It's just, it's very pretty. It brings out the butterflies. Okay, so, um, something there. Do the orange butterfly. See my brush is too wet again. So. Yeah, these are pretty. I was super excited when I saw the the um um the prompt or like the preview we get a preview of what the box is in case you want to so if you're a subscriber um you'll get um you'll get a preview email and then you can decide if you want to subscribe or not and um of course it was like oh yes please so let's do a pink butterfly i haven't used pink yet um, so when I saw it, so, cause if you don't like the box then you can, you have the option, you can, uh, skip and then you don't have to worry about getting the box. Like you're not, but I don't know. I don't skip because, um, I like having each number. Not that I, I started out when the first originals but I know that if I skip then down the road I'll want that box so I don't skip and it's my splurge and by you guys watching my videos you help me um, pay for the box and then I can bring you content So I appreciate everybody. I'm just in blue there. And then I'm going to do orange again. Just going over the orange again to see if I can make it a little darker. And. I don't know what kind of wing that is, so, but we're going to make it red. Well, let's make this one red. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think? Okay. So, I need to let this dry now. So once it's dry, we will come back and um, we'll top coat and uh, yeah, okay. And we'll show you a final look. So hang on. Okay, so this is a makeup sponge. We are going to turn on the water and we're just going to dampen it. We're going to squeeze out the excess and then we're going to use this to top coat. So hang on. Okay, so here's my sponge. So, um, Robin from Pretty Fingers from Robin says when she top coats her watercolors, she does it on a sponge. And I'm like, 
huh? So I tried it and it just soaked up all the, the um, top coat. So I thought, well, and I asked her, I'm like, do you put, do you wet the sponge like you would a, when you're doing a gradient? And she's like, yes. So I was like, oh. And then I'm going to clean it off on, let me get a fresh one. Do, do, do. Fresh paper towel. Okay. So I'm going to put a lot on. So I'm just going over once. And then I'm going to wipe it off on my paper towel. So it does get the block off. Hmm. I still, still not sure about this. I just wanted to try it versus, because you know how I always like my She Modern um, clear mat. I'm thinking I like it better. But, you know, got to try things out and see if things work better. Okay. So, we're going to let that dry, and then we will be back in a moment. Okay, one thing about doing the top coat on the sponge is my colors are very vibrant. It dries super quick. Um, I just, this one, it's, it's munched a little bit, so don't pat, just go down. <laughs> Um, so now I'm going to add some fairy dust just because I think, oh, I can't open the bottle. I, gotta, I haven't cleaned the edges on this one that's up in the back, girl. Because um, I think the butterflies, they need some glittery sparkle. So fairy dust. I love fairy dust. I actually had someone ask me recently if I liked it, and I'm like, oh, yes. And I actually found um, Jelly's has, oh, hello, Pippa. <laughs> Should they, I have the, uh, my husband's in the shower, so I have my bedroom door open while I'm doing the video. So, um, Pippa likes to go underneath my desk and then into the closet so I think she was hoping to see if she could get into the bathroom that way, but my husband's probably got the, he's got the door closed. Oops, a little too much, so we're just going to smooth that out. Oh, look at that. Look, that looks so pretty. Okay. Okay. I'm a happy girl. This is, I really like this. What do you think? Okay, so once this is dry, then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to, I have my Sally Hansen Insta Dry, the red top coat out. Um, we're going to use this today because, you know, it's out. But um, yeah, look at this. I love them. I think they're so adorable. So thanks for hanging out with me while I do these nails. Um, I will have products listed down below. Um, along with my Maniology discount code. So if you order from Maniology, I would love it if you could use my code. I do make a small commission uh, from it when you guys um, use my code. And I use that towards uh, nail products so I can bring you more videos. And it's a savings for you too. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe. 
cape. Uh, be someone sparkle. Bye. <laughs>